Hello and welcome to another episode of Richard's Comics. On today's episode, I want to go over my latest comic book haul. We'll start off first with Action Comics number 1053. Continues the showdown between the Superman family and with Metallo. Next up, Amazing Spider-Man number 23, Legacy number 917. Uh, this continues the current story revealing how Peter Parker and MJ are no longer together and why uh, Peter Parker is also working with Norman Osborn. Um, so far, uh, this story hasn't really been too controversial, but I have a feeling it's, got to, it's about to get a lot uh, spicier the further along we get. Next up, Avengers uh, number nine, facsimile edition, the first appearance of Wonder Man. Uh, this story holds up surprisingly well given its age. I believe this book originally came out in about 1964. Um, it's, it's a good read, solid art, good story. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Next up, Batman number 134. Uh, this continues the uh, Bruce Wayne kind of stranded in an alternate reality. Uh, you get to find out kind of the identity of the Red Mask who he's been going up against. Uh, a lot more character development with the uh, alternate Catwoman as well. Um, Batman's pretty solid. Solid. Uh, one of the backup issues, uh, backup stories with uh, Rob and Tim Drake trying to find Bruce Wayne is also a very solid uh, story as well. Uh, I, I would have to keep recommending Batman. It's definitely a very good read. Next up, Batman and the Joker, The Deadly Duo, book six. Uh, this is a, got one more issue after this one. Uh, the art has been, the art and writing by Mark Silvestri has been very good. Uh, definitely worth uh, uh, checking out. Um, it's not, not really much more to say about this book besides it, it absolutely captures the characters of Joker and Batman very well. Next book, this is uh, Dark Knights of Steel, number 10 of 12. Uh, really cool looking uh, Batman and Joker title, uh, for those not familiar. Um, this is an alternate take on the DC Universe, kind of set in a medieval kingdom. We have the kingdom led by the, uh, led by the children of Black Lightning going up against the uh, kingdom uh, uh, led by um, uh, the elves specifically um, Superman's mother and also uh, Superman as well. Uh, in this one, you find out that the Dark Knight is not all he appears to be, where he's actually kind of a, a human Kryptonian uh, hybrid. Uh, it's an interesting story. Um, it seems like it has been a bit delayed, but I, I would recommend reading this uh, and, and seeing what you think. It's been pretty good so far. Next up. Uh, Detective Comics number 1070. Uh, this is kind of a strange series, kind of explores the deeper kind of uh, mythology behind Gotham and Batman's connection to it. Uh, it, it. The main story is solid, but be honest with you, the backup stories are very forgettable. Next issue, Flash number 796. This is the last part of the One Minute War. Uh, the other issues, it, it, they've kind of slowed down a little bit. I'm hoping that it has a, a really solid conclusion. But uh, I've not read this yet, so I do have high hopes for it, though. Next up, uh, Incredible Hulk number 376. I've been uh, working a little bit on my Peter David uh, Hulk run. This is a nice cover by Del Gwynn. Definitely a classic clash of the different personalities of Bruce Banner and the Hulk with both the gray and green Hulk on the cover. Next book is King Spawn, number 21. Really cool picture of Wanda and Violator on the cover as well as Sam and Twitch. Um, I've, I've mentioned it many times, but I'm gonna mention it again. Uh, all the Spawn books are very solid. Definitely worth checking out these books. Um, Spawn by itself is, is probably uh, in my opinion, uh, the best thing that Image is putting out right now. Next issue is Spider-Man number seven. 
Legacy 163. Um, this is uh, End of the Spider-Verse Part 7. Uh, the big takeaway from this book is this is the newest um, Spider-Boy shows up in this book. Uh, this is the main cover. They also have a variant cover where he's in the uh, forefront. Next issue is Star Wars number 33. This kind of continues our hero's journey into the uh, no space. Um, if the cover is to be believed, which you never know with modern comics, uh, it looks like Luke has lost his lightsaber and he's going up against Vader again. We'll have to see. So far, Vader really hasn't showed up in this no space story arc. Next up is Star Wars Hidden Empire number five. This has been a very solid, I think that this is better than the War of the Bounty Hunters. Um, and I believe the second part was called uh, Crimson Dawn as well. Um, this Hidden Empire really shows Kira as she goes up against Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine. Um, I think this has been the best entry in this uh, three-part overarching story uh, that they've had so far. Next up is Thor. Number 32, Legacy number 758. Um, this has been decent. Um, it, it has kind of slowed down quite a bit. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to see more development with Thor's nightmare uh, that he had of Thanos. And obviously, uh, he's going to have a clash with Doom in this story. Uh, we'll just have to see where it goes. Okay, this book, uh, Venom number 18. This particular story has been, to say the least, one of the most confusing Venom stories. No, I'm take that back. Probably the most confusing Venom story I've read. Uh, jumping through time with Eddie. Um, uh, different versions of Dylan now. Different versions of the Kings in Black. Um, this, this book, in my opinion, is a train wreck. I'm really hoping that they clear this up and they get to the point. Because I'll be honest with you, I've reread some of these issues and I'm still lost. Couple more books. This is Exo Man of War Unconquered, number one from Valiant. I'm a, traditionally a big um, Exo Man of War fan, both the original series back in the, uh, I believe it started in 92, and it ran up until the mid 90s until Acclaim took over Valiant. And then they had uh, a short lived series under Acclaim, but the series that was relaunched back in 2012 was very good. Um, They've had several Exo Man of War series since then, but I don't think any of them have uh, been quite as good as the relaunch back in 2012. So I have high hopes for this book. And the last book we're going to talk about this is Swamp Thing Green Hell, number three. I believe this is the last part of the story. Um, Jeff Lamar and uh, Doug Mankey have been knocking it out of the park with this book. If you're a fan of the New 52 Animal Man and Swamp Thing runs, I highly recommend you check out Swamp Thing Green Hill. It is exceptionally well done, and it is definitely the book I'm most looking forward to reading with this pool. Well, that's all the books I have for today. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.